It is said that nothing can stop a man with the right mental attitude from achieving his or her goal. That indeed is true, as our goal on health is wealth, is to enlighten and ensure you get maximum information on our health. I am Yusuf Lowell Wakili, welcoming you on Health is Wealth and urging you to stay with us as we take on the program. Well, scientifically, we all are linked by blood, and blood is memory without language. What are the functions of blood to our body? Why does a person need blood, and what is blood made up of? Well, blood is generally believed to be what keeps us alive. But to answer more on this, Dr. Mukhtar Yusra, a resident physician at Baroduko Teaching Hospital here in Kaduna, starts with the concept of blood. Well, generally, if we are talking in the layman's term, blood is a medium. When we say a medium, it's something you have in the body that carries a lot of beneficial and nutritional things to various parts of your body. So when I say beneficial and nutritional, no, I mean like the oxygen you breathe in mm, goes through your blood, is carried by the blood cells to other parts of your body so that you will be oxygenated. Mm. So even the air you breathe is carried via the blood to various parts of your body. So that's how important blood is. If we say someone lacks blood, we don't, it can be of two types. You can have lack of blood in terms of the volume of blood. That generally happens when you have accidents and or you have something that drastically causes reduction in the volume of your blood. And then you can have blood, um, lack of blood in terms of the quality of the blood, meaning the cells that um, are there to carry out effective processes in the body is low. Mm? So there are two types. When you lack blood, depending on what type, there are things that will happen to your body. If you have acute blood loss, that is the one I just mentioned for the accident. Acute means you just suddenly lost a lot of blood. There are some mechanisms the body is, um, is made to have. Mechanism, when I say mechanism, I mean some things that will happen to the body because the body is trying to fight off that drastic loss. So there are things set in place to help you overcome that. But those things can only work for some time. So when you lose blood, depending on how much blood you, you lose, the body will be able to help you regain some of the blood by um, directing some of the fluid in your body. Example, like your urine. When you lose a lot of blood, you, do not, you don't tend to urinate much because that urine will now be converted into fluids that will go into your blood and add your volume of blood. So the body will respond by creating um, mechanisms such as you feel colder, mm, especially your hands, you start sweating, you start um, becoming more aware of your heartbeat and um, your blood pressure, depending on the level of blood loss, can either go down or go high, and then your pulse also you will be aware of those changes. If we go in that direction, there are a lot of things that can make you lack blood, especially if we're talking about in the accident time, you don't have to have a road traffic accident. You can have accidents by cutting yourself and losing blood. You can have heavy menstrual flow. Even menstruation, you can lose a lot of blood from there. You can have disease like fibroids, when we are talking about females, that causes excessive bleeding and you bleed. You can have 
problems with your blood cells also. Not necessarily in the quality. You can have problems with the quantity. There's something in the blood itself, a cell in the blood that um, allows for the stopping of bleeding. So if you have a problem with that, it's called the platelets. If you have a problem with the platelets function and the quality of the platelets, that can also lead to excessive bleeding. Male children, there are some diseases they are born with called hemophilias. It's more commonly seen in male children, but it can happen to females also, um, female children. It's an inheritable disease. They can present with a lot of bleeding, especially during um, the first period of that um, circumcision. That's usually when we find out that they have um, hemophilias because you find that you circumcise a child, bleeding will not stop. So that's usually the beginning of it. So you can lose blood from those areas also. You are rich when you are healthy and strong. On Health is Well, we discuss your health with experts. We give you tips on how to live a healthy and better life. Join us on Health is Well every Saturday at 9 a.m. and the repeat broadcast at 5.30 p.m. Health is Well. Our watchword is live well and live long. Health is wealth and wealth is health. Thank you very much, Dr. Bukhtar Yusra, for that intuit. Well, blood is needed to keep us alive. It brings oxygen and nutrients to all parts of our body so they can keep walking. Studies show that everybody's blood is red, but categorically speaking, they are not all the same. There are eight types of blood group described using letters like A, B, and of course O. These letters stand for certain proteins found in the red blood cell which not everyone has the same. So, knowing your blood group or type can help predict the concentration of certain proteins in the bloodstream. Why should I know my blood type? How useful is it for you and I, and what can it tell about me? We asked some people in Kaduna as to whether or not they know their blood group. If I know my genotype and I know my blood group, I am AA and my blood group is O. And the importance of knowing it is maybe in case of anything, maybe emergency, you can be able to say this is what I am and people will run to your aid. And if somebody needs maybe any blood uh, donation, if you are in that, uh, in that category of that blood that is needed, you can be of help to the other, to the person. O positive. Yeah, maybe if you want to get married, it's very necessary. So that at the end of the day, you and your partner are not going to have the same genotype and it might lead to having single cell children. My blood, blood group is O positive. It's very important for one to know his or her blood group in case if there's any emergency like that. Because there are many families that you find yourself that maybe this one is using O positive, this one is as in different types of blood group. There are times that when one falls sick, that you will need a blood group that will match that other person's uh, blood group. So if O positive, I believe O positive is uh, it can match every other blood. Maybe if someone is sick and they need O positive, O positive can regulate other uh, blood groups. Yes, I know about genotype. Very important about knowing your genotype. It helps with your partner when we talk of marriage. Yeah, marrying someone that is not compatible with you, like an AS, marrying an AS, definitely you're producing an SS, and which is not good for the children, because we all know the complications of getting SS children. So knowing your genotype will eventually help you to choose a better life partner. I know my genotype. My blood group is um, O positive. My genotype is AA. It's very important to know your genotype, because one, in case of accident, emergency to transfer to you, as in to donate blood, it's very important to know your genotype and also to know your own blood. Initially, we were not really in, um, enlightened about it, but as civilization, civilization has come in place, especially for the ladies, sometimes you need to know your genotype when, when you are choosing a life partner. 
so that you know who and who to be able to commit yourself before it gets a situation that it can result into heartbreak. So it's good for you to know your genotype, especially for a lady, even for the man. Before you commit yourself into a relationship, the first thing you should know, when you know that that relationship is going to get to a certain marital level, is for you to know your genotype. It is very important for one to know his blood group, his or her blood group, because, um, for instance, in terms of accidents, you might be involved in a fatal accident where you might need blood urgently. And for them to know your blood group, they can just maybe pick it from one of your ID cards also to be able to transfer. Those were the opinions of people on whether or not they know their blood. And of course, you've heard all that they say. Well, we do know that one of the best and most selfless reasons to know your blood type is to help others during blood donation, which is very key in our lives. If you're just tuning in, you are on with Health is Wealth coming to you on KSMC TV, Kaduna, Nigeria. And today, we are looking at the importance of knowing your blood group. Welcome back. Now, talking about knowing your blood group and or genotype, Ruth Queen Barnabas put together this report for us. Over to Ruth. No two human beings are the same. People could bear some form of resemblance, look alike, act the same, perhaps talk the same. But in reality, no two people are absolutely identical. The genotype is the biological coding that ensures this specificity uniqueness and individuality. The DNA contains the instruction manual that guides the formation of our genetic as well as physical traits. Intending couples should know and share information about each other's blood genotype as this can serve as an important forecasting guide for offspring's genotype, quality of life and overall health. A blood genotype indicates the genetic makeup of an individual's blood in its entirety. Typically, there are five distinct types of blood genotype. They are AA, AS, AC, SS, and SC. While the first two pairs, AA and AS, are normal. AC is rare, and the latter two, SS, SC, are irregular and anomalous, commonly causing sickle cell disease. Sickle cell disease occurs when an individual's blood cells are shaped in a deformed and abnormal manner, potentially blocking blood flow, causing pain and damage to vital organs. Normally, the red blood cells are found and flexible and can move easily through blood vessels. However, in sickle cell disease, the red blood cells are shaped like sickles. These rigid, sticky sickle cells can get stuck in small blood vessels, thereby slowing blood flow and oxygen supply to parts of the body. Blood genotype is a key component to consider before making the decision of a life partner. It is key because a father and mother genotype ultimately crosses to determine that of the offspring, that is the children. Equipping yourself with the right information about genotype compatibility will help you make the best quality of life decisions where marriage and conception is concerned. 
This can help you avert the devastating effects that can ensue from sickle cell disease and by extension improve your quality of life. The AA genotype has the best compatibility ratio. An individual with the AA genotype can choose a life partner from virtually all other genotype categories with an extremely minimal possibility of sickle cell offspring. Some research also shows that while the AA genotype is the best in terms of compatibility, it is also the most susceptible to malaria. So if you have the AA blood genotype, it is advisable that you minimize your exposure to mosquitoes and take other malaria prevention strategies seriously. The AS genotype is best compatible with the AA. A genotypic pairing of AS with AS or AS with AC poses and increases the chance of sickle cell offspring. Similarly, a pairing between AS and SS or the AC and SS is equally as risky and ill-advised while a pairing of two sickle cell individuals will almost certainly result in sickle cell offspring or children. However, knowing your genotype is key to your health and wealth. You are rich when you are healthy and strong. On Health is Well, we discuss your health with experts. We give you tips on how to live a healthy and better life. Join us on Health is Well every Saturday at 9 a.m. and the repeat broadcast at 5.30 p.m. Health is Well. Our watchword is live well and live long. Health is well and wealth is health. Welcome back and thank you very much Ruth as you put that report together for us. It is important to know your genotypes so as to prevent the risk of receiving an incompatible blood type at the time of need. To shed more light on the issue of genotype, Dr. Mukhtar Yusra is here again to guide us. Blood group is very important in the sense that when you lose blood, sometimes you might require blood transfusion. So in the event that you need to be transfused with blood, you're supposed to know your blood group. If you know your blood group, sometimes it makes it easier for you to find people that will donate blood. Um, even though now things are becoming a bit more... Um, easier. We have blood banks. People go and donate blood so you will be able to access most of the blood group pin system there. We have um, something called the blood group pin system. There are a lot of various types of blood group. Yes, but the most common we use is the ABO system. The ABO system talks about the blood groups. Um, they divide it into four. We have the A, the B, AB, and then the O system. Then we have another type that is equally important to the ABO system. We call it the Rusis, Rusis system. The Rusis system talks about the, what will I say now, the added sign on that blood group. You can have a blood group A, but you know it doesn't really come as blood group A. It comes as A positive or A negative. So that negative and positive stocks about, um, is mainly the Rusis system of blood grouping. When we are talking about that, you need the two. These two blood grouping system is what we commonly use, is what is um, accepted worldwide, mainly. So when you go to the blood bank and you know your blood grouping, I, um, it will be easier for them to actually help you, especially in places where accidents tend to happen. There is something we call um, first contact care in areas of mass trauma. When you have accident that happened with a lot of people that are injured and some people might need blood transfusion on site before they bring them to the hospital. Yes. So if you know your blood group and you are able to talk and you tell them, you might be able to get that first care before you reach the hospital. So it's equally important for you to know that. The rarest form of blood group is the AB. 
the blood group AB. Um, and out of the AB, you have two types, AB positive and AB negative. Usually, AB negative is the most rarest. But the whole AB blood group is a very rare, um, very rare blood group to find. Um, then we have the O, which is the commonest. You find it, most people in the world, about 80%, if I am not mistaken, of the world population is O, o positive. Hmm? There are O negative, they are not as much as O positive, but O, um, o positive is the commonest blood group, in, blood group you will find in the world. So when I say positive, I mean the plus you just... So usually, um, for me, let me take myself as an example. I am blood group B with the positive sign, so B plus. So when I say I am B plus, generally what I mean is when they checked for my ABO type, they found that I did not react to the antigen B. When we say that, I'm being very technical now. I'm being very technical. So when we say that, we have some things in the lab, antibody antigen system. Mm -hmm. So we have antigens. There are proteins on the surface of our blood cells that are markers. These markers, we tend to see them in the lab when we test for them. So when you are given something, Mm? that you have antibody against. Antibody means the protein marker on your, on your blood does not recognize it. Mm? It, has, it has protection over it. Your blood will clot. Yes. So that tells us that you are not this blood group because if you are this blood group, you are not supposed to clot. So that's how we test for it in the lab. Thank you very much, Dector, for that input once again. Well, knowing your blood group can be important for many reasons, among which are your health and the life saving of others. That is our package for today. Until I come your way again, it is Yusuf Lal Wakili thanking you very much for watching and urging you to keep watching KSMC TV. Bye-bye.